So I thought I'd start doing something a little fun. I found this Would You Rather game. Uh, basically, it's all these cards that have uh, Would You Rather questions. So I thought I would start asking one uh, in each video. Um, it's kind of a little fun thing to do. Um, so this one is interesting. It's kind of deep. Would you rather have no reflection in mirrors or never show up in photographs? Uh, for me, I think I'd rather have no reflection in mirrors. I don't look in the mirror that often anyway. Pretty much just to shave and brush my teeth. That's about it. So you guys let me know uh, what what you would rather. Put it in the comments below. I just left Best Buy and got this. This is a iPhone, uh, or just a phone, tripod and remote shutter. Uh, the little remote uh, takes pictures and it says that it will take video. So you can start a video and stop a video. Um, and I thought that'd be pretty handy because there's a lot of videos I do, uh, you know, if I'm like doing a garage sale haul or different, uh, something to wear, make my clips a little bit cleaner, you know. Uh, if there's any content creators out there, you know how long edits can take. Um, so this little start stop thing might really cut back on some of my editing time, which would be great. Um, so I'll let you guys know if it works <laughs> and how well it works. I'll keep you guys up to date on that because it's kind of cool. I'm pretty excited about this. All right, guys, it works. Um, it's very, very small. It kind of feels cheap, to be honest. Uh, it's got this little strap on it, but I don't, I mean, there's no way that could go around your hand. That's really, really tiny. So I might get like an extra little hand strap uh, for this for when I'm shooting like haul videos or something so I don't drop it because I feel like if I dropped it, it might <laughs> just break. It's just plastic. Um, I'm sure it's got some kind of watch battery in there or something, but it's pretty handy. So I started the video like this and I'll end it like that. Um, I think I forgot to mention this was 35 bucks. Not very cheap. There are some cheaper ones on Amazon, but from everything I read, they only do photos. They won't do video. Um, so I went ahead and paid up for it and it's working good. So I'm gonna keep using it and hopefully it keeps working. So my auction this week uh, is like completely loaded with guitars and musical instruments. And so I decided to make a uh, Facebook ad for it uh, cause I can target uh, musicians really easily. So if you guys have never seen this um, Facebook, if you have like a business page, you can't do it on like a regular profile, but if you've got an actual page, you can do uh, boosted advertising. So uh, here's my little ad, you know, calling all musicians. This week's auction is loaded with instruments. Don't miss out. Um, and I've got photos. So I've got the Mackie, you know, the saxophone, the mandolin, the guitar. And basically it shows me you know what all the results are so my budget was 25 bucks um i wanted it to run for i think five days and i've spent three dollars so far so i've had 22 photo clicks 391 people reached it's pretty neat um and what you can do with this if you guys have never done this you can pick your audience and you can change it each time so you could pick uh, just men, just women, or both. Pick your age, uh, where you want it to air, um, like, you know, city and range and all that. And then you can add, like, interests and hobbies. So I had a musician and guitar, and it gave me my audience size. I've done this a lot, and I've gotten pretty good results from it, too. And I like it because it's you can track it. I can see how well it actually worked. But, yeah, um, if you guys have never tried it out, highly recommend it. I was getting some boxes out of the dumpster. Found this thing. Rowinta Precision Valet. This is like a steamer. It feels like it's good quality too. It's got the plug. And this thing's got wheels and everything. Here's the top to it. That just goes right on there. I'm gonna take this thing back and see if it works. Looks like my Sears store is closing. Sears, it looks like, I think they're closing like 150 stores nationwide. They're one of the oldest retailers. They started like back in the late 1800s. So it's crazy to you know, see them start to close these stores. I mean, Toys R Us bit the dust. Uh, a lot of these big box retailers, you know, they're not getting with the times. You know, everything, things are moving to online and 
uh, customers are, are a little more savvy uh, shoppers than they used to be. And these places just haven't adapted and now they're having to close down stores and I can't help but think about how a lot of resellers will chastise us content creators because we're you know showing what we're buying and selling and everything and how we're ruining it for everybody if I stopped making videos today it wouldn't change you know anything everybody else would keep making videos uh, we're in a different age now so you know people can make excuses all they want if they want to blame us resellers for why they can't find stuff that's fine but you got to adapt and evolve and that's how you're gonna become a great reseller and continue to be a great reseller you know the things I used to find five years ago I ain't finding now so I'm finding new niches uh, I'm watching different youtubers and I'm learning about things that I wasn't buying before you have to adapt uh, things don't stay the same and if you don't get with the times you're not going to make 11 doing this. Um, it is now Wednesday. I still haven't unloaded everything from my van <laughs> from the Highway 70 sale, but I'm planning on doing it tomorrow. I'm going to dig all that out and show you guys everything I got because I got a ton of stuff that uh, we didn't show in the videos, but I'm excited to show you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.